There was a punt last night, actually, that I watched that people, you know, said some things on the internet about me maybe hitting climax or something like that. What? And I would never do that from a football play. Okay, have a little respect. Come on. Okay, but boy, I'll tell you what, I was excited while I was watching I it. Bet. It was fucking glorious. The man's name, he went to Toledo, named something Womack. Mm -hmm. Okay, Womack is the gunner that we need to watch for here. But this is the human that I think we should kind of keep an eye on right here. This guy right here, Mitch Wisnowski, obviously has incredible flow. We right. saw that. Uh -huh. He's an Aussie guy. He came in with a lot of fanfare because he was talented in college. He has grown each year and gotten significantly better he's gonna have a massive massive fucking leg right there okay because the way he hits balls is different than i've seen anybody do it every single time now a lot of guys are hitting this style of pooch Damn. punt okay this is happening around the nfl everywhere the ball is straight up and down you can literally see how it's straight up and down right now yeah. this is the aussie style of kicking it was called rugby style because the commentators didn't know that aussie rules football existed and that's bullshit Right. Mm -hmm. Aussie rules football, much different game than rugby. Rugby and Aussie rules football both played in Australia. They d certainly both do this style of kicking of sure. the ball, but everybody that has come over to the NFL from Australia, at least in the past, I'm sure there's some rugby guys now, have all come from Aussie rules football, which is a game in which you literally punt the ball back and forth to your friends as you move down a the field. They wake up in the morning, these Aussies, they call each other cunts. If you call somebody like mate, that's kind of like an undershot of if you call them a cunt, it's yeah. like you're actually friends with your them. Your pal. Yeah. So this particular pun is used by most guys now in the pooch area. There used to be a uh, coffin corner where a guy would attempt to punt the ball out of bounds. The issue with that is, and he could have done it on this one mostly because uh, Denver's in kind of a hold up here. You see there's a little bit of a bend, but if they were to bring these dudes in, okay? If they were to bring all these dudes and this guy, stepping out of the box is not necessarily something you want to do because guys, Guys, like, like sometimes these guys and sometimes like these guys somehow run like four twos now. Whenever he hits this ball, he's thinking to himself, I want to land this thing around the three of the four. Uh, Denver air, so it's going to go a little bit deeper. He hits this fucking ball as perfect oh, as you can geez. catch it. And then Sam Womack out of Toledo makes it play that is just beautiful. This ball, as it's traveling down, is eyeing that fucking line, isn't it? Little slow turn at the end, nice little break, and all of a sudden, boom! Oh my, my God. God. Boom! Boom! <laughs> the most perfect punt of all time. Darn. The meat of the ball is in the field of play. The tip that has to touch the paint is in the paint. Literally couldn't have hit it any better, more perfect. At high altitude, we'll say he did it on purpose. This guy's so fucking dialed in. And then it takes a bounce. High. Look at how fucking Jeez, high absurd. that ball is, dude. I mean, if you just look at that and then you go ahead and put, that's fucking, look at, I mean, look at how high, it could not have had a better fucking bounce. Then all of a sudden, a dude out of Toledo says, I believe I can fly. Fucking soaring through the air with the greatest of ease. Mm -hmm. Perfectly timed jump. Yeah. Uh, right before he touches the ground Unreal. couldn't have been more perfect little go go gadget fucking arms there pal and then because he covers it at the goddamn half yard line oh. now russell wilson's got to go 99 and a half 